Now, when we do our regression analysis for the um, A.D. Hofstay plot, and we hopefully have done the A.D. Hofstay plot, sorry, my lines are a little bit wobbly, but for an A.D. Hofstay plot, we plot the rate versus rate over the substrate concentration. Uh, what we should see is really more or less a straight line. Well, we get this for the trend line anyway. That would be the result for the trend line. And what we can do is we can do a proper regression analysis. Now we know that this intercept here, this would give us a Vmax, whereas the gradient, and that's quite important, for the gradient, the gradient of this trend line that we get would be negative Km. And that is very important that we are aware of this negative Km. So when we do our regression analysis, um, we will find an R squared value. Um, it does not mean anything in the case of an Eddie Hofstay plot because we have a sort of almost a violation of R squared because on our x-axis the data are not independent. And remember, we usually plot independent data on the x and the dependent variable on the y-axis, but on the x-axis, in this case, we don't have independent uh, data because we have the rate here, and that also turns up in the uh, dependent variable. So we can't really do an R squared value. And therefore, with an Adiof state plot, we cannot do R squared value. So we just simply ignore that. But what we should not uh, ignore is the output of our regression analysis. So here, this intercept, that is the intercept with the y-axis, and that gives us our Vmax. And what we see here for the Vmax is that we get that we get the confidence interval for our Vmax. And I think that was micromolar per minute. So the confidence interval for our Vmax is uh, between 33.27 and 65.62 micromolar per minute. That is the confidence interval for our Vmax. We don't need to do any complicated uh, calculations. Uh, we can, uh, of course, say that it is the value would be 49.44, because that would be exactly the, the value in the middle between uh, the lower bound and the upper bound. Now, what is the case for the Km? For Km, we have this value here, that is the gradient. And what through a lot of people is we get for the gradient, remember, we have minus Km. And minus Km, it means here the value is between minus 0.41 and negative 0.082 and the unit was millimolar. And since we have the minus here, we can cancel out the minus here and here. What we get for our Km, 
we get a confidence interval and because it's minus we can turn this round and make it look nicer. We can turn this round uh, and define the confidence interval as 0 0.082 and 0 0.41 millimolar. So that would be our confidence interval and the uh, middle value for that would be this value here, but not negative, so it would be 0 0.246 millimolar. So in this case, uh, again, it depends on your Eddy Hofstede plot and how good the data are, but I would expect for this enzyme a Km value uh, around the 200 around the 0 0.25 millimolar, which of course is 250 millimicromolar range for the Km. Now, if, however, some people found that the value here, these Km values for the gradient, uh, include zero. So they might have found that we have for the lower 95% we get a 0 0.4106, that's the lower, and for the upper they might get a, a value of zero point, let's say, zero nine. So what does that mean? Again, that would be our negative Km value. And I separate that here. And we said in order to get the confidence interval, we cancel the negative out here, but then we would get a negative here. So that means our Km value in this particular case, if we have zero in between here. So we had negative 0 0.4106 and uh, plus 0 0.09. We would get our Km value spanning anything from 0 0.09 to positive 0 0.4106 millimolar. Now that one is all right, but here what are we going to do with this negative? We know that a Km value cannot be negative. An enzyme cannot have a negative affinity for a substrate. So if we find something like that, that we have different signs, different signs here in the regression output for the Km, we find different signs, different signs. This indicates that we cannot really make a good decision about Km. So Km would not be defined. Not be defined. And in this case, we really should either repeat the experiment or if we can't do that because of time constraints, uh, in this case, you should have used the replacement data.